Hello, hello, my spiritual tribe, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, we are going to be pulling Rise and Shine messages for December the 22nd. I cannot believe that Christmas is in three days. I don't know about you, but I've done a lot of growing up within these last two sucky years. Um mini vacations but nothing big like we used to and um i don't know let's just hope that the new year brings some of us a new life this is waking up from a long nap this is going around the world, um, learning some lessons. This is for some of you having a spiritual awakening. You know, it could also be the beginning of a new chapter. Some of you may have been sleeping, you know. Let me get, okay, I got four. Okay. <clears throat> so, waking up, okay. So, you also have here, the second one that came out was Fork in the Road. You don't know where to go left, right, forward, but please don't go back. You know, when you take steps backwards, you kind of never finish your journey, you know, or it takes a long time. It takes triple the confusion, okay, when you're, when you don't know whether you want to go left or right, you know, sense of confusion for some of you waking up to the sea, taking a trip, going somewhere. Every time I see these, of course, you know, it reminds me of cruises. So, um, you know, to the sea. Some of you may be leaving, arriving. Whatever you're doing, you are moving, okay? you. Oh, look, we actually got two more over here. All right, I thought it was one. Go the distance. So for some of you, finish, finish waking up. Finish, go to the finish line. Claim your victory. And then you have here, co-create. Sometimes it takes other people to create something with you. You know, sometimes we do need somebody else's help or wisdom, you know. So sometimes it is not a bad idea to try to balance out um, two thoughts, you know, maybe with someone, maybe a conversation. All right, let's see what we have here. Then I'm gonna be pulling out a six card spread. Please universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, seven of wands. This is moving. This is taking some action, doing something that is, uh, brave. This is also standing up for yourself, being courageous enough to stand up grounded on whatever you decide. You also have here strength. So with the strength, it took a lot of strength for you to get here. You know, this is also healing. This is also a transitioning yourself from one journey to the other. Finding the strength to take some action. Finding the bravery to do something that maybe you have been scared of, you know, or just really never wanted to try, just was too afraid. And here we go, full energy showing up for those of you that have taken a leap of faith, okay? Are going to, you know, take a leap of faith. This is wanting to start a new adventure. This is why some of you are taking a trip. You know, this could be, um, you know, saying, you know what? There's so many things that I've learned over these past few years. Life has been very difficult. But since I have actually moved away from this, I am going to uh, start a new journey. Start a new yellow brick road. Willing to take my chances, you know? Let me get three more. Please, Universal Energies, anybody who's watching, anybody who was brought here by the title. Beautiful world, world card showing up for you. 
So you know what? Things will get better as you transition yourself into this new chapter of your life, you know? All right, let's see. What else we have here? Judgment. This is giving something a second chance, okay? This is somebody looking to reconcile, looking to put things back together again. And then the king of wands is showing up. He is usually a single person, kind of passionate, you know. Very deserving, I'm hearing, you know. So take it as it fits. Everybody's going to have the same thing. Okay, um, Seven of Wands, why is it here? Please, Universal Energy, Seven of Wands, I, anxiety, why are you anxious, okay? Maybe you were anxious in the past. Maybe this was something that, this was something that kept you. Maybe, it's not maybe, <laughs> okay? I want you to see this girl. This is like, fuck my life. What the fuck just happened? I can't talk to this person. I'm losing my hair. I'm biting my nails at night. I'm not sleeping. And you're inside of your head. You see all these swords? They're inside of your head. Listen, they're causing you to be, to have, this is my mental meltdown card. It is when you're so frustrated, you're falling apart. Okay? So, <clears throat> please universal energy. Why is the nine of wands here? I feel like it took it it took a lot for you. All right. Oh my god. I'm gonna take them all. I want you to see. I'm gonna take them all. I'm gonna take the three that fell here. I'll go through those and I'll pull out this one and this one. We'll see what we have here. Okay, so here we have okay, an apology. So that's very um significant with the page of swords, which is an apology. Okay, so an apology with the judgment is um, somebody saying that they're sorry and that they want a second chance. That they know they fucked up. They know they screwed up. You know? There's also here the Ace of Wands. So a brand new beginning for some of you. And then you have here... Oh, hold up. Okay, no wrong <laughs> then you have here the the nine of wands okay oh this is what i was looking for two strength cards two standing up for yourself being grounded finding yourself hugging a tree okay whatever it takes for you to feel good all right standing your ground but also protected and also um regaining his strength and recovery okay um you also have here the queen of cups and the six of pentacles i already don't like this simply because i can see already that this includes a third party energy so for some of you if you are in, if you are in a situation where you were being breadcrumbs where you feel like you were loving to this person you know, that's what I'm picking up. I feel that some of you were loving to them. They were breadcrumbing you. And I feel like you had to stand up on your own, you know? You were a lot in your head. You couldn't stop thinking about this. This is something that was roaming every day and night in your head. Alright, why is it, well, you know what? Let's clarify that. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Please, Universal Energies, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Nine of Cups. So, somebody here, they're following their happiness. They're saying, you know what? I'm sitting back and waiting for my wishes to be fulfilled. My wishes are being fulfilled, so I am just going to sit here and enjoy it. Why is why is the full card here? Why is the full here? Please, universal energy, spirit guides, ancestors. Why is the full here? Anybody who's watching, anybody who was brought here by the title. Let's see. The hermit. 
So for some of you, I feel like you, you literally detached from this person because there was some healing that needed to happen. You know, there was, this was you going into the dark, having to find the truth, having to, you know, the hermit is somebody who withdraws, you know, they're like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to isolation, I am going to go into my little cave, into my little room, into my little bathroom, whatever, okay? You pick your room, okay? You're gonna go in there and you're going to heal, you know? And you're going to think about things and you're gonna meditate and you're gonna ask the universe, what are the things that you need to work on? You may even journal, you know? But find your place, okay? That's what I just heard, find your place. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? What what is what is what are some of you recovering from? Why is the hermit here? Please universal energies. Ooh, that's way too many. It's like it was like 10. Why is the hermit here? Please universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. I'm gonna take this. This is way too many. Okay. Um, Wheel of Fortune. So some of you um, are having to heal because it looks like something happened this quick. It was something that just came in with the Wheel of Fortune. Listen, once this wheel is in action, there's nothing that is strong enough to stop it. This is destiny. This is fate coming in, okay, for some of you on, on your behalf, you know, changing you to wherever it thinks that you should be next. Because for some of you, when the Wheel of Fortune comes in, I always see it as you've overstayed your visit. You know, you've overstayed. It's, it's a quick upset. You know, it's a quick action. Page of Wands. Because you were curious about what could have happened. Okay, you're like, what if? What if I'm as tall as this? What happens if, I, if I'm tall as... You know, as <laughs> what happens if I'm as tall as this wand? Okay, it's a, it's a what if? What about? You know, you're gonna have all those questions. You know, and this is when you know you stay back and you try to figure out what are you gonna do with all that curiosity? And like I said, curiosity kills the cat. You know why? Because listen, you you're trying to still stay in a place that has been sh that you've been shifted from. Okay. All right, let's see. I'm gonna take these. I'm tired of oh my god! This remember when the other deck fell out? This was in here. Uh, okay, that that was in that deck that I put back. Okay, I, I'm just gonna take them. Um, I hate continuing to put cards back, but these are a little big for my hands and um, raising consciousness. So some of you are growing up. Some of you are becoming aware of the situation. Okay, beautiful. You're putting down your burdens with the Ten of Wands. This is a victory for some of you. This is moving along. This is giving up. This is putting the burdens down, putting the bullshit down. Whatever fuckery this person put you through, you are dropping the wands, okay? And maybe you may even set fire to them, okay? Just before you go, <laughs> okay? I'm just saying. Temperance, testing the waters, trying to find your balance, trying to see if you are prepared, okay? This is healing. This is sunlight, okay? Ten of swords, a brutal backstabbing ending, Something that ended with a bang. Something that ended with a boom. You know, and here is the magician. So some of you are still trying to create some magic. Even though something is finished, something is gone. It looks like for some of you, the cycle may have closed out. That's what I'm picking up. And you're still trying to figure shit out. You know, somebody here. All right, let's go to the fool. This is what some of you may be working on. For those of you that have not, oh my God, look at, I can't, listen, I can't even make this up. Remember when I was, when I was getting all confused at the page of wands, I refused to stop this video. You know, I was too far gone and you know what? I am not perfect, okay? So I will stumble over words sometimes and sometimes I won't find words, you know, and I'll make stuff up. 
But I want you to see, this is why I don't start readings over if I make a mistake, okay? The full energy, not once, but fucking twice, okay? This is what some of you need to do. Some of you are ready for departure. Whatever fucked up shit you went through in the past, listen, grow up, learn from it. It was a brutal ending. It was painful. You know, it was very hectic. It was filled with drama. But you know what? The ending is here with two, like two fucking fools. <laughs> like, damn, does it get any more real than that? Why is the full energy here twice? Why is the full energy here twice? If she made this deck smaller, I would get it <laughs> smaller. These were one of my favorites. Um, Knight of Swords. Listen, you're dealing with somebody, okay? You're dealing with somebody who is going to fucking be pissed off when you take this move, okay? Or with the justice here, this is evening out the scales. Some of you are ready to say, you know what? I'm evening out the scales. That's what I'm hearing, <laughs> okay? I know that that's the justice and... You know, for some of you, this is somebody telling the truth. This is somebody making a confession. This is could be also court issues. Take it as it fits. All right. Now everybody's going to have the same thing. Why is the world here? World. Why is the world here? <clears throat> These universal energies. Why is the world energy here? Two of Pentacles. So you know what? I feel like some of you started this. You know, some of you decided it was time for a new chapter because you were tired of this person juggling behind you. They were treating you like shit, you know, with the justice here. Super unfair. You know, and I think that some of you are either... I feel like you're wanting to take a move, but I feel like you haven't done it yet. I just feel like you haven't done it. You know, I feel like some of you are just contemplating it and I'm going to tell you if somebody here is looking for reconciliation look at what popped out for, for reconciliation with the judgment two of cups okay so this is a soulmate why is the two of, of cups here why is the two of cups here listen this person could be looking for a second chance with their soulmate because obviously something happened between you guys, you know, because some of you are no longer together, all right? You're no longer together. Let's see what we have here. The chariot. This person moved on. This person moved on. They wanted to reconcile with their soulmate and they moved on. You know, they were unavailable. Look, this, is, this was in your outcome, the king of wands. So some of you could be dealing with this person, you know? The Empress and the High Priestess. Holy, beautiful reading. Holy, beautiful. Listen, follow your intuition. Treat yourself like a queen, okay? Or a king if you are, you know, like an emperor, you know? But with the Empress here, this I've been seeing the Empress and the High Priestess and the world and the Fool in many, many, many readings lately. And, you know, I'm glad for those of you that are closing out chapters and starting out new beginnings. I am happy for those of you that have decided to learn the lessons, whether it was through journaling, whether it's through some of you, because I do know that some of you that I did personal readings for, I know that some of you do watch every single video, um, you know, the, from the rise and shine and your own, you know, and with the high priestess, some of you are taking yourself, listen, put yourself in high regard. Some of you are dealing with somebody who is simply not available with the king of wands here, you know, but you are the fucking empress. You are the high priestess, okay? So, some of you know what's up. Some of you, listen, be careful because the pregnant, the, you know, the, the pregnancy belly is here. Look at that cute little belly. Only she can look that cute pregnant, okay? I look like a ball. <laughs> um, okay, uh, why is the Empress here? Gotta clarify the Empress and the High Priestess. Let's see. Oh my fucking word. Let me tell you something. I love these two cards together. 
the nine of pentacles okay it is almost reaching your destination as far as money okay so some of you listen this could be a baby but for those of you that are that are energy driven you know this is a lot of singlehood coming toward you this is you putting something in your wound and bringing it to full fruition you know and i feel that for some of you you know you're gonna be fucking independent you're gonna be stable enough to take care of yourself let me see why the high priestess is here these universal energies the high priestess why is it here why is it here the high priestess seven of wands you see, when I, when I say that I can't even make these readings up, I want you to see this. I, this happens all the time. Well, not all the time, but a lot of the time. <laughs> you open up the reading with the Seven of Wands and you close it with the Seven of Wands. Like, fuck, do I need to say any more? Like, I don't even know what to say. Like I said before, I feel that for some of you, your leap of faith is here but you're still struggling with letting something go that has already left and the cycle has closed out. You know, I feel like you're gonna be standing there. You, you Listen, you're the fucking high priestess, okay? Don't struggle so much, all right? Don't struggle so much. You're gonna ruin your nails. You're gonna ruin your fucking hair. You know, and for those of you that are wearing sandals, listen, you're going to fuck up your pedicure, okay? Doing this stuff. All right, so listen, I'm going to give you guys a bonus. Um, I'm, I have the coin here, okay? So let's see. We're going to do this three times. These universal energies, any questions that anybody has? No. No. Okay. Second one. Second one. Please universal energies. Yes. Yes. Okay. One more. Last one. Please universal energies. Anybody who's watching. <laughs> no. Okay, so I hope that this was able to help some of you. Um, for those of you that are having to take a left or a right, listen to it, okay? Close out a cycle if, if there's something behind you. Finish up this race that you are going through, you know? Find the strength within yourself, all right? Thank you so much for being here and take care.